Hi, welcome back to Career Aspects TV. My name is Paul and in today's video we're going to take an in-depth look at the university and tier 4 visa questions. And today's question is going to be why did you choose your course? You have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? So, you want to know the secret of how to answer this question? Better come closer. Too close. That's better. Okay, so, let's start at the start. Uh, well, it seemed like a good idea to start at the start. Uh, similar questions lead to what we call overlapping answers. And that's a technique that some interviewers use to uh, check the continuity of the answers. In other words, to make sure that the answers agree with each other. Um, also, it's helpful because you may not always give all the information that the interviewer was looking for when you answer the question. So by asking a similar question, it's a way of drawing more information out of the candidate. Some of the similar questions that you may get asked would be, for example, um, why did you choose this subject? Or, how will this course help you in your future career goals? Sometimes they'll combine a question. So in other words, you would get, did you consider a different course? and or subject and how much is this course going to cost or what are your course fees these are just a few examples of similar questions but there are a lot more that can be asked remember that the interview is live so you never know where it's going to lead and what questions are going to be asked it's the car right chicks love the car When you're on your interview, remember, don't ramble along. Be clear, concise, and to the point. Give your reason for choosing this course and explain it if necessary. The interview will last around 30 minutes and you will be asked approximately 15 questions. So that works out at one question every two minutes or more importantly one question and one answer every minute you should aim to answer the question in one minute or less um, a way to help you achieve this is to practice using the prep technique so that is point reason example and then point summarized point get straight to the point given the reason the main reason why you've chosen your course reason explain why you gave your reason if you feel it will help and if you feel it is necessary example Give an example from your life to explain your reason. Again, only if you feel that it is necessary to do so. Point summarised. Return back to your original point of reason so that you start your answer with your reason and you end your answer with your reason. This helps to strengthen that reason and get the message across. Also remember, you may wish to give more than one reason for why you chose your course. Shut up and get to the point! I did just get to the point. Okay, um, let's give you an example. Um, yeah, right. I chose this course because it has a module for maintenance and restoration of classic aircraft. 
I would like to work in the aerospace industry and I would like to specialise in classic aircraft. I spend a lot of my spare time volunteering at the local aircraft museum and it just makes me feel so good when I see how much people enjoy seeing these old aircraft still flying. That is why I think this particular module makes this course, among other things, the right course for me. Yeah, baby, yeah! Thank you, I thought that was pretty good too. Now, a way you can help to practice and do that is, like you've just seen, you can actually record yourself answering the questions and then review it and see where you can improve. Okay, that wasn't quite what I had in mind. If you can stick to just answering the questions and recording the questions for the moment. Okay, let's move on. Breaking down the question. Don't confuse the question with similar questions. The question is, why did you choose this course? Not why did you choose this subject? In other words, why did you choose this course uh, when compared with other courses available in the same subject? Remember, not all courses are created equal. There could be many reasons why you choose one course over another. For example, the qualification could be different. The way the course is judged or marked could be different. The length of time that the course runs for, of course the one that most people know, what modules the course has in it, how much the course fee costs, and what facilities the university offers with that particular course. You may find that you prefer one university, but you prefer the course at another university, and you've got to make your mind up which one of the two you want. Another thing to take into consideration is how and why do your reasons relate to you personally. We all want value for money, but we also want something a little personal. So, okay, what do I mean by that? Um, it's so tempting to just give generic answers um, and they don't relate to you personally. So what you need to do really is avoid stating the obvious. Um, a fine example of that is I chose this module because it teaches the subject it is about, um, which is a ridiculous answer. All the modules teach the subject they are, are about. That isn't saying anything, that is just stating the obvious. And um, answers like because it's value for money and things like that we know those answers everybody gives those answers so also look for answers that personally relate to you okay the last part yes don't get too excited just yet. It might be the last, but by far not the least. Okay, so you've started your preparation really by watching this video. And as you know, you can start practicing answering the question and recording it and seeing how your answer sounds, how it holds up to the prep technique and how it holds up to the timing. The next thing you can do is to get yourself on the internet. You can go on the internet, you can look up uh, alternative courses, look up at least three other courses that are similar to yours in the same subject, so you've got something to compare against. Um, I will run a list of things for you to consider when you're researching for these courses and looking into these courses. 
also, this is a good time to start looking at alternative universities at the same time, because that might be a question you get asked later in your interview. And of course, it might very well be that the reason you chose this course over an alternative course is because you prefer this university. So that's the next step. Get on the internet, find out all this information and make notes so that you can compare. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. hope you found it a little entertaining. But I really hope that you found it useful and you got some good information from it because that's the idea of it. If you did, then please tell your friends and share. Hit the subscribe button so that you can see all of our future videos and the notification bell. If you have any questions or you have uh, a subject or something you would like us to do a video on then please 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 let us know you can leave a comment in the box below or you can contact us at info at careeraspects.org or you can contact us on whatsapp so until next time is looking at you kid